This is the MC Reggie Fresh Morning Show. A station that pays. This is MC Reggie Fresh from the MC Reggie Fresh Morning Show. And folks, guess who's in the building? He was born in the capital state, Washington, D.C. He was the lead and r for No Limit Records. A director, a filmmaker, actor for Silverback Films, and the Redbox bestseller filmmaker. He's the owner and founder of Hood Stars and is also a comedian. He was featured on BET Comic View. He had several movies out, including his new release called Swap Out, showing now on the Tubi Network. However, his journey was not easy. Dealing with the hard street life and being locked up. Now he wants to give back to the hood and the community and wanting people who has talent to come aboard because he's opening up doors for all people who lives or live in the hood and who is willing to put in the work. He has a slogan that says, taking the hood to Hollywood. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome, let's welcome Mr. Terry Miles. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the MC Reggie Fresh Morning Show. What's going on, brother Terry? Man, what's going on, my brother? How you doing? Hey, man, I'm doing all right, brother. Doing all right. I just want to let you know, man, uh, a lot of people is watching that movie you got, man. Pretty nice. <laughs> Man, appreciate that, man. And we gonna keep, man, we gonna keep giving the people more and more and more. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm talking about. So the first question I want to ask you, man, what made you want to be a producer or an actor and all that kind of stuff to get in this movie business? Well, I mean, pretty much uh, a lot of people know my story. I mean, with me being a part of No Limits for years, uh, over 20 something years and learning a lot from Master P, he pretty much taught me and showed me to that, that uh, I always wanted to be an actor but to a degree i just didn't want to go to nobody casting call let them turn me down and say no but once again me also just being a hustler from being you know coming from the streets yeah. you know what i'm saying like i did i just pretty much like okay well i could do this myself right so i started putting my own films together that's what's up man that's what's up brother now let me ask you this though how long you been doing it though you when did you start man, been, man let me tell you something i actually uh did a first film project probably like a 2002 to yeah, about 2002. Why? Um, when, when I first came to Atlanta, it was no one doing independent films but William Packer and Tyler Perry wasn't even here yet. And another young man by the name of Bobby Peoples. Man. When I first, when I first came here. Get out of here. You know, man, your movies, I'm comparing your movies, man, is with a, a, a family business. That's, you know that movie called Family Business? See, I like a plot and all that kind of good stuff, man. Pretty right, tight. Right. I, right. I try to make the content good enough, you know, you know, for for older, you know, for younger, the younger crowd, the street crowd to watch, and the older, more mature crowd to enjoy. So that's why I try to do, you know, with 
suspense plots. You know, I, I try to keep it a little bit of street, a little bit here and there sometimes. Sometimes I go all the way street, but I, I just try to make it for all genres of uh, the generation of people that's watching. Yeah, and it's more realistic because, you know, actually the stuff that you have in movies, that really happens in real life. Oh, definitely. I mean, you know, I, even, I've, even I've done it or I've I actually watched it, or I know somebody who actually lived that life. You know, when I put these movies together like that. So, I mean, a lot of them be a lot of reality that's in it. Yeah. Wow. Man, that's all I did. Let me ask you this, though. So, when you go write and stuff like that, do you isolate yourself? How much time you need and what do you do to stay focused to even think like that? Man, to really be honest with you, when I come up with these films like I do, I mean, pretty much uh, I dream it. So, I, I, can, I can come up with a topic first. Uh, I come up with a topic, a title for a movie. Then, I mean, once I lay down on it, the whole film will actually come to me that night. And by the time I wake up the next morning, I know it from word from word from the beginning to the end. Man, man, that's that's a genius. Now, let me ask you this: so you know, it's a lot of actors are want to do the same thing you're doing and, and and produce movies and all of that. What kind of advice do you got for them, man, to make them be successful as you? Um, just stay focused. Uh, don't let nobody tell me, don't let nobody tell you that you can't do it. Uh, don't let nobody put their fears on you. Um, filmmaking is, 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 is hard, but it's, it's also easy. It just depends on you. Um, a, a lot of things, don't, don't be focused on the money. Just be focused on getting the product. That's the most important thing. You know what I'm saying? That's why when a lot of people show me films and other people be like, man, that film garbage. I don't really listen to that because at the end of the day, them people got product. Right. And you're, talking, and you're talking about them. They're not right. talking about you. So at the end of the day, man, just go out here and do it. You don't need no big Hollywood production, so don't let that fear you, uh, get you, uh, your fears. I mean, just go out and get you a good camera, man, a good sound, man. And, man, you know, shoot, do what you do. That's what I'm talking about, man. That's what's up. And, man, you know, you know, you gotta, you gotta understand a lot of people put those, those same, you know, same things on me. Like, man, you can't do no film, man. You know why? Man, you know, that's going to be hard. It ain't even your lane. Stay in your lane and this yeah. and that. But you got to also remember when when you say T-Miles, you got to remember, man, when, when Redbox put Blockbuster out of business. Yes, sir. And they was only, they was only doing Tom Cruise and the, uh, the James. I remember Bond that. And all that. That's I'm crazy. The, I'm the very first independent street dude to put a street film with an unknown cast. I'm the only dude who had a SAG who belonged to, SAG, to the SAG union. To put a movie in Redbox and sell more than Django the first night it was released. Man, and, and, and that's doing something, man. That's putting in that work, brother. And it's yeah. also it's also inspiration, man, for other people right. out here that's trying to do it, man. Appreciate you being like that and being very positive. Right. All right. Yep. Now let me ask you this: How did the two be come around? How did you get them involved? How did they get on the show, man? Because that's that's big, man. Man, let me let me tell you, it's crazy because when Tubi was. A lot of people was getting films on Tubi, and I was like, man, I got to get on there. I, I didn't have no connect for Tubi, but like I, like I said once again, man, when you really want something, the power of the universe, when you speak it, it'll come to you. Because I kept telling everybody, man, I'm on Tubi. I'm on Tubi. And to be honest with you, I wasn't on Tubi. It was just that I did someone else's film, and they was on Tubi. But wasn't nobody trying to give you the plug. Yeah. I mean, you know, so, I mean, I kept saying, man, I'm on Tubi. I'm on Tubi, man. My movie's big. Come on that next. Big. Come on that. Next thing you know, the universe opens itself for you once you, man, speak whatever you want. And in, in, in this world, it, it's going to definitely come true because you're forcing the universe to give it to you. That's right, that it's energy. Just, and, and people it, don't believe in that. It, it, exactly. It just so happened, I reached out to a, I was searching for an actor on my Facebook. Right. And I actually scrolled all the way back in my Facebook messages for like five, six years ago. And seen a, a, a guy, a guy that I knew that's in the business. And I reached out to him just to see how he was doing. A, a white guy, just to see how he was doing, how yeah. he was coming along. Yeah. And he asked me to help him with his film. And I told him, man, look, man, I'm trying to get with this Tubi thing, man. You you should try about just so happened the guy who owned Tubi was his friend. No. And and he he put me right where he, he said, Yo, here go his number, call him, tell him I sent you, and he's gonna look out. And me and that guy have been friends ever since. Man. That's what you call connection right there. And you know, man, like you said, when you manifest stuff, that's what happens. It's called law of attraction. Yeah, it's the law of attraction. It's really real. And it mean, is real. Man, let me tell you something. Anybody know me, a lot of times, I may not even have a film all the way done yet, but I will go get the actors and I will go shoot and create 
a whole movie cover for it, put it out there, and the law of attraction, I'll bring everything and everybody I need to be a part of. Get out of here, man. And you know what, too, bro? You giving other people opportunities, too, man. Because, look, yeah. them people, hey, them actors you had in the show, hey, that's how they gonna, they get known for that movie. Man, ex exactly. And that's what I deal with. I deal with the underdogs. I deal with those who others don't want to deal with. There you go. I give them that opportunity. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm the first guy who put, I, I got a movie that's ready to come out right now where I had Trouble Trouble in. His first, very first movie ever he's ever done anything. He wasn't even Trouble Trouble yet. Rest in peace to him. You know what I'm saying? Before he passed. But I told that dude he was going to be a star. Man. Then check this out. To back up what you just said, man. Well, after looking at that movie or whatever, because I was just strolling around, like I say, I seen it, man, and I seen the previews. So I thought, man, it looked like it's going to be a good movie. Of course, you know it was. But look, the first thing that came to me, I said, look, I told everybody, I said, man, you know what? I'm going to get the top dog who wrote the movie first. That's what I'm going to do. And I said, you know what? And, you know, people look at me, yeah, okay. You know, people will say, oh, that'd be good, but they ain't really sincere about it. But I'm serious. And you know what, man? When I looked in my inbox, I got that message from you, bro. I said, told you. <laughs> I mean, you, you, you got to understand, man. You got to understand, man. Like, I don't I do not do a lot of interviews with people, but because the simple fact, not that I don't want to, it's just that things I deal with underdogs, I don't like to take away from them. I want them to to feel this what they're actually doing, to feel, you know what I'm saying, the hard work they've been putting in and how people appreciate them. I also would end up doing an interview because of the simple fact, I'm not no bigger than the next person. What the platform you got going on is helping me just as well. Wow. So sometimes I do take that time out. And, you know, I do do an interview because I like the man knowledge to let people know, man, hey, this is how I did it. Don't think I was I, I was given a silver spoon to do it. Don't think Master P did something for me because he never gave me a quarter to do a film. Everything was just me. That's what and, I'm I mean, talking every, about. Everything can be just you. It just depends on how bad you really want. That's what I'm talking about. But like I say, man, you, hey. Look, bro, hey, I, it's privileged to have you on the show, man. But, you know, hey, I, I had to try it. I, I said it, man, because I said, look, I want the top dog. I want I want the writer of that, of that story on my radio show. And that's what I did. So I inboxed you. And next thing you know, like I said, man, you, you looked at it and it reached back. And, and I appreciate that, my brother. Hey, I, I appreciate you for even, man, considering me, man, and taking your time out to even reach out to me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Man, let me ask you this, man. Uh... So how can people, you know, if they want to uh, buy your movie or if they want to get involved or try to get, uh, you know, when you have uh, interviews to be, you know, be actors or what they need to try out or uh, how do they, how can you be reached and what do they need to do? Man, I mean, as it, far as, man, to support everybody, you know, for my films, man, you know, just tell your friends and tell your friends and tell their friends and tell their friends and tell their friends. Okay. Go to me. Pull up my movies. Recognize one. Uh, it ain't over two of you. Recognize two. Swap out. Uh, no filter. My new one coming on there. Uh, Behind the veil. I mean, just just support me. Go to Tubi and watch the films that I put out there because you never know. I, of course, a lot of people feel like, man, if I support him, man, the dude getting paid. Exactly. But you never know. I like to take my money and I like to reach back and I like to invest in other projects to go get other underdogs. And you never know. It may be your son, your daughter, your cousin. Your, 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 your mother, your father, you your never mother, know. I'm putting in the film. So, you know, just just keep support. That's what I'm talking about. Now, man, man, I want to ask you this. You got any shout outs for anybody? Man, I definitely want to shout out, man. You know, uh, my one of my part, my, my number one partner, Maya from Turbine Production, everybody from Silverback, TST Studios, man. Everybody that, man, supports me and everybody, everybody that believes in me. Yes, sir. Man, Brother Terry, I got one more question to ask you, man. I want you to tell everybody in the D.C. area, the ATL area, and all across the land, what's the baddest station, I mean the baddest station in the land that pays? It's the ball baddest morning show. The baddest morning show there is. That's what Reggie I'm Fresh, MC, MC Reggie Fresh morning show. And there y'all have it, folks. Go check out his films, his movies, and if you got talent, make sure you get with him. That's brother Terry Miles. He was right here on the MC Reggie Fresh Morning Show. This is the MC Reggie Fresh Morning Show. A station that pays.